You can use the Crop plugin to quickly create split screen sequences in Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. In a split screen sequence, one video plays in one part of the screen, while a different video plays in another part of the screen. With the Crop tool, you crop out a portion of one video to let another video show through in that portion and create the split screen effect. Let's take a look at how easily you can create a split screen sequence in Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. First, start a new project. You'll need two regular video tracks to do this. For one, we'll use the default video track, track 3. To create the other track you need, right click the track header for track 3 and choose Duplicate from the context menu. This creates a new track 4 with the name Copy of Video. You can change that name if you want to, but let's leave it for now. With your two tracks in place, it's time to add your videos. To start, we'll create a sequence where one video plays on the left and the other on the right. Drag a video file and drop it onto the video track. Now, drag a second video file and drag it onto the copy of video track. Position this clip event directly below the event on the video track. When you play your project, you only see the video on the video track since Vegas Movie Studio shows video from the bottom up. This means that if one timeline clip event is right over another, you only see the one on top. It's just like a stack of photos laying on your desk. Also, just like that stack of photos, if you take a scissors and cut the right half of the top photo off, then you'll see the remaining left half of that photo and the right half of the photo beneath it. That's exactly what cropping does with your video tracks. So let's crop the right half of the top video off so that you can see the right half of the video on the track below it. To do this, click the Video Effects tab to open the Video Effects window. From the list of plugins on the left, click the Crop plugin. Drag the Crop right half preset and drop it onto the Timeline Clip event on the video track. Instantly, you can see the left half of the top video and the right half of the bottom video. You can also crop horizontally so that you can see the top of one video and the bottom of the other. Notice that when you added the Crop effect, the Video Event Effects window opened. This window contains controls that we'll talk about shortly, but it also contains a preset drop-down list. Click the drop-down arrow and notice the preset choices. These are the same presets that you saw in the Video Effects window a moment ago. Select Crop Top Half from the preset list. Now you see the top half of the video on the copy of video track and the bottom half of the video on the video track. The controls in the Video Event Effects window give you even more flexibility because you can set your crop up to something other than the exact center of the video preview screen. For even more powerful and intuitive adjustments, however, look at the Video Preview window. You can use the four side crop handles to establish the exact crop you want. Drag the handles in to set the crop. You can crop one or all of the sides simultaneously. If you crop all of the sides, you can create a different kind of picture-in-picture -picture sequence than the type you created with the picture-in-picture -picture plugin. The controls on the video preview window make it very easy to see exactly what you're cropping out as you make your adjustments. Keep in mind that in order to see the crop handles on the video preview window, you must have the video event effects window open and the crop plugin active. To see what I mean, click the close button for the video event effects window. Notice that while your crop settings remain as you set them, you can no longer make adjustments because the crop controls have disappeared. To bring them back, click the Event Effects button at the top right of the Timeline Clip event on the video track. This events contain the Crop plugin, and when the Video Event Effects window opens, the controls reappear on the Video Preview window, so you can make further adjustments as you need to.
The new Crop plugin makes split-screen sequences easy to create and adjust.